Good morning. It's not good afternoon. It's not afternoon yet. Well, good afternoon. I'm okay. sorry. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Angelia. Angelia? I'm from nice. Lindawa. You from Lindawa? Okay. Nice Jersey. to meet you, Angelia. And um, how long you been out camping? Like going on like 11 years off and on. Last four homeless. Wow. 11 years. What brought you out here? Um, I was in a car accident and I was put on pain management and I got addicted to Percocet. Oh, I got, let me look at the camera instead of looking mm -hmm. at y'all. Um, I got addicted to Percocets and Oxys. Mm -hmm. Long story short, I would run, run out. I didn't know he was a dirty doctor. I would pay him cash. He would give me more. And then they kicked in all six of his locations. And then I was introduced to a little blue bag of heroin. Wow. And I ran with it. I had clean time. I went away. I went to prison. But it seems like every time I would come home, I would come right back to this. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So now... This is probably my lowest I've been um, living in bandos, um, tricking, smoking butts off the ground, anything, um, just chasing, chasing. Um, the only thing now, I'm not shooting anymore. I have two years off with, with no needle. Mm -hmm. I'm sniffing and I'm smoking crack like it's no other. That's what my problem is now. That's keeping me out there. I had just had 15 months clean. My mom died six months ago, and I came back out here. Um, I have a, a one and a half year old son who's in Patterson with his dad, and um, I got custody back, and now his um, ex-wife just opened a case towards me because I just left my son with the dad and I'm out here. So, um, therefore, my life's fucked up right now. As you can see right here, I have a wire in my mouth right here um, for $4. This right here was a month ago. $4. I got pistol whipped. And then two months ago, um, they jumped out of the dumpster on Broadway and Spruce. And I um, I got raped. Um, got two stitches put in down there. And then uh, he just got out like a couple days ago and he's... He's crazy, all because I didn't want to do a date with him. So. Yeah, that tricking stuff, man. For little Joe, um, it makes you really, at the end of the day, lose your mind in some type of way because you lose so much self-respect and dignity and mm. you really, truly forget who you are at the end of the day. And, like, like it's crazy before I... Do, in the morning when I'm dope sick, I think about life and how I want to get clean. But as soon as I sniff something or smoke something, all out the window. Mm. Um, and it's crazy because, like, <laughs> I had a good life, you know what I mean? Like, besides my childhood before my mom, you know, divorced my dad. And, and I don't even care if anyone sees this, family, friends, because right now I feel good opening up about this shit. Because guess what? There's a lot of people out here, not Camden, all over the world who are struggling with this addiction. You know what I'm saying? And I am a human being at the end of the day. I am a good person, um, but I, I'm just fucked. I don't, I don't know why I can't let this shit go. Right. It's just really crazy. And um, Now, what's the longest clean time you had? Um, okay, I did two and a half years in Clinton. I came home and I had three and a half, I had in Clinton, that's a that's a prison, right? Yeah, I know. I'm two and a half years in there. I'm saying, and then when I came home on the streets, I had um, three years clean, so altogether five years. Five years. Oh, right two after years, you came home yeah, from prison, you had three years, years on top of that. Yeah, I had five years. Wow, that's that's good. That's good. What um, made you go back? Like, what sudden? What happened? Um, I got in a relationship, and I. I kind of figured he was using, but not using. Mm -hmm. uh, at that time, I was waitressing. I came home one night, and um, he did he did crystal meth and Xanax. And he he snores a lot, but like that night he was snoring heavy. So anyway, I, I, I like I do. I get a shower. I go to bed. Well, I slept next to him all night dead, mm -hmm. and huh? um, I relapsed. I woke up in the morning. He had blood in his nose and ears, and I was that was. The love of my life. Um, 
And I literally was smoking crap and shooting dope right in front of the cop and did nothing. Right, right, right. You know what mm. I mean? Um, bodies laying everywhere, pregnant girls all over the place. Mm. It was crazy out there. And people are coming from Kensington here and have all them holes all over them. Mm. They got that fucking, that flesh eating disease. Everyone out here, thank God I don't, it has these big holes and these little maggots going through them. It's called, oh it's a bacteria trying to leave the body. Mm. It's from shooting up, right? Their needles. Mm -hmm. mm. And I'm blessed. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't get hepatitis or I didn't get HIV, you know, and I was just tested for all that stuff again. If you can make three wishes right now, what would they be? To get, have my mom back, like, um, to give myself a chance, uh -huh. um, okay. oh, to give myself a chance to show not just myself, but my family, and especially my son, that, you know, I can be a good person. Yeah. I can teach and show love. <laughs> and three, um, that my passion is hair and makeup. I went to hair school, and I absolutely love doing hair and stuff. And I have my scissors, my, my, my rolling book bag, and I, I want to... I want to get back into that and I don't know it's, it's you guys came here it's so, things happen for a reason do you believe that right. so absolutely so your hair looks nice uh my hair I just cut it was down to here and it was on from running in the streets it was all pulled out of it look at me dirty fingernail uh, uh, a mess but that's what comes with being in the streets mm. how much do you make in the streets a day um I charge 30 for a blow job, 50 for sex. Um, I don't do anal. And I, there's a lot of fetish people out here. I'm gonna be honest, last night this guy gave me $250. I had to poop, take a shit. Huh? I like the shit that I took and I had to tell him here it is. And he took a piece of it and he beat his dick with it and came. Yeah. Sick motherfucker. I, I wasn't there when he did that. What type shit is that? That's that fetish weird shit, okay? Then I have a guy who I have to wear my put my feet in the dirt, put a high heels on, and um, put it on his balls and tell him, and before he punch him, before he comes to him, you, you dirty motherfucker, you pussy, talk to him, degrade him, and then hook him in the back of the head, and he, dude, he gives me like $190 and a pack of cigarettes for five minutes. Wow. Hey. You're the fetish people. That's quick, so. that's quick and easy money, you can say that. But um, I I'm scared right now. I'm, I'm gonna end this now. In about 10 days, I'm getting, um, we closed on my mom's house, the partial state check, and I'm not about to blow that in Camden on fucking drugs. I need to do something, but yeah. anyway. I'm done, I'm sorry, guys. You know, I hope you find out, you know, what to put that money into. All the time, maybe they'll be praying for you. What's your cash app, actually? You, got you know? Any resources? What'd you say? Any resources you got, to you got get money sent to you or anything? No, I don't have cash app or anything like that. All right. All right. Thank you so much for this interview. All time media. Right, thank you for your time. Thank you for your time.